Instagram, the place where I probably lose all my self worth. I mean, <laughs> when you post a photo, you could either be、uh, surprised, shocked, or、uh, even post a picture that's hot, but you're really not. So、uh, let's see how my last post did. It can't be too bad. What the f? I'm joking, guys. I literally have no one filming for me right now, so I just had to reverse that clip just for you guys. This is the commitment you see on YouTube, okay? Hey guys! As you can tell from this title, maybe you're someone who doesn't know what to do. You know, what do you do if nothing's working? I thought it would be no better way than to call you guys up. If you're new to this channel, my name's Jade. I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur helping you grow on social. And I think throughout my time being here, I probably should do more Ask Jade shows, which is basically where、uh, I call you guys up and you ask me anything, literally anything. And if you want to grab a snack, like a little drink, that would be cool. You know, just gonna have some time, you and me, gonna go on a little date.、Um, yeah, so get comfy, grab a snack, and we're gonna dive right in. Hi, you're on the Ask Jay Show. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you from? I'm Melissa, and I'm from Bahrain. Gosh, that's so cool. What are you up to, girl? I was watching your YouTube videos when I found you, and I was like, oh my god, okay, I need to grow my Instagram. <laughs> okay, so like, my Instagram feed, I'm struggling with that. And yeah. like it's all over the place, so I deleted a whole bunch of pictures, <laughs> and I need help with like filters and stuff. <laughs> filters? Yeah. I mean, what's wrong? You don't think it's aesthetic enough? I want it to be constant, but like able to use a whole bunch of colors. So are you just more worried that people don't think it's your theme is pretty, or what's why are you worried about filters?、Uh, just to make it more like aesthetic, like you said. Why? Why, why does it need to be aesthetic? To make it more pleasing to、um, my Instagram. Why? Why does it need to be pleasing to who? To get more followers, gain more followers. So the core problem is you want to have more followers. Do you think it's really about that it's not pretty enough, or do you think it's something else? What do you, why do you think people aren't following? Cause I need to post more. Yeah, Monica, you only have six、yeah. posts. I don't know. Compared to other people's I've seen, it's like. It's all constant. The feed, like all right, all the same filter. Yeah, don't, don't compare yourself though. I think think about your audience and what you want to do. Don't give a shit about those people because at the end of the day, they have like years and years of experience. What it sounds like to me is like you actually haven't posted enough for people to be visible and to find your voice. So my recommendation is actually weird enough is to not give a shit about the theme because if you care so much about the theme, it sounds like to me, Monica, like you're scared to post something because it's not going to match. And then it's holding you back, right? Like you're not posting enough. Is that correct? Yeah. It doesn't need to be perfect, Monica. Like literally, post a like post a poop emoji. Like post something where you're like uncomfortable because I don't think the problem is it's not perfect enough. Actually, it's it's the opposite. It's like you're being too perfect on yourself, and you're not giving yourself enough. You know, outlet to be creative, and you should stop worrying about what other people are posting and focus on yours in the beginning. Sounds good? Okay. All right, I'm gonna hop to next one. Love you. Yeah, guys. I actually genuinely believe you guys are so aesthetic, and I really believe if you guys ask yourself why five times, that like I did with Monica, I do this with all my clients. You know, sometimes we think that we have a problem, but it's important to solve the right problem, right? We can solve so many things. We can solve the way we look, the way we feel. At the end of the day, the core problem is actually what's going to change our account and change the direction of our brand. Make sure you ask yourself, you know, what's what's the goal? Because as I told Monica, I don't think it was necessarily that it wasn't perfect enough. It was just like, hey, post more and stop being perfectionist. That's all. All right, so we're about to hop to second color. Pick up. Hi, you're on the Ask Jay show. I am an artist. I like to post. I was wondering how I can, you know, do more. Cause I mean, like people like music, but then people are also into like lately puns. Oh, like, the problem is you don't know whether to stick to music content because it, it doesn't get as much traction as if you do weird ass shit like comedy skits and selfies and random stuff, right? Yeah.、Uh, but it's like a second option. Like I like music more. Okay. So, what gets the most traction, or at the end of the day, what the audience like the best? I feel like what I see, I think I feel people like watching skits more. So, you get more engagement with that, or what gets you the most engagement? I don't have like I don't post 
post kits. Like I was thinking about expanding my content because uh, all I do is. Is it working? Is it working pretty well, or you want more? You just want more, right? <laughs> Okay. Content down the line. So here's my answer. I have no idea. I think you are gonna figure it out along the way. I'm not a genie. I'm not gonna be like, all right, you're right. Lily Pons is hot. You're gonna do exactly what she's doing. Now, I would recommend Bianca to like do this. Like every time you post a singing cover, you test another version of a type of skit. The only thing is you always want to stay true to yourself. But I recommend. I don't know if you heard of like the 80/20 rule. 80% of your focus needs to be on what works. Like it, it just needs to. But like spend 20% of your time just like literally trying out random shit. Like, because the thing with comedy and video and just other things outside music is it, it just shows your personality. So if you don't want to do a stupid ass skit, like getting no offense if anyone likes comedy, but like if you just don't want to act, just like show yeah. your personality through like a makeup tutorial or like a live. But I rec to answer your question, I recommend to do everything, but focus still 80% on music because that's what that's like who you are. Do you have do you have any clients that like or trying to grow their music brand or anything like that? Of course, yeah, I work with a few artists. So my biggest advice to artists specifically is like, it's kind of, because art is the product, like your music is the product you give to people. Like it's a little tricky, right? Cause like, wait, my song is the product, but now I have to make content around it. So my biggest thing is in every way you can, like get influencers to talk about your music. So like get five to 10 people that has your following, like go on like, I don't know, like fuck Jerry, at fuck Jerry, if they have like the teen audience you want and just like, hey, can you promote this video? Like I recommend using influencers or like, you know those like reposts accounts with like memes and shit or like another account with covers, like get yourself out there by using influencers, especially for artists. I've found it works the best. Okay, perfect. All right, are you California soon? California, yes. What part of Southern California are you from? Like Anaheim. Hell yeah, hell yeah, OC, Orange County meetup, let's do it. All right, I'll talk to you soon, Bianca. Love you, I love you. All right guys, just to recap, I really recommend, and I haven't talked about this before, using influencer marketing is important. The only thing is it doesn't really work if you don't understand who your audience is and your demographic, and sometimes it can be costly. Like I would prepare 100 to $500 for a marketing budget. Um, if you can't afford that money, that's totally fine. I didn't necessarily start with that much. I'm just telling you, you need to find ways to be serious with your brand. A lot of you guys are trying to do free shit, which is totally fine. But I think becoming a business or a brand, if you're really serious about making money out of Instagram and just being a legitimate profile, you need to think about investing. Like I've taught so many ways to do free shit. Like a lot of you guys are shocked that it costs money to fucking do cool shit. So at the end of the day, no one's gonna fucking do it for you. Invest in yourself first, got it? Cool. All right, we're gonna hop to the last color. Some of you just messaged me and said that I was bathing my puppy and couldn't pick up the call. Hey girl, how was bathing your puppy? Where's your name? Where are you from? I'm from Russia. Nikki. Nikki? That's amazing. What are you up to? Say hi to the everyone on the Ask Jake show. <laughs> hi. So I have a question. I have a certain amount of followers. You know, I've been like following and following right. in the past. And I have like 13,000. And uh, right now, I don't know what to do. Like, uh, bring us... Like, I don't know, should I bring some time for the content or just post pictures because it's what they used to? So let me think, what's your goal? Maybe by the end of this year or maybe like two years, like where do you want to go? Like, like I want to go in business. Mm. Okay, so you want to create a brand? Like you want to create a product? One day. Yeah, sure. Like I don't have, um, I think I don't have a certain people that would like me to post something about it because they used to see um, like pictures of me, just mm. me. The audience only cares about your face, not about what you have to say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. How are you showing your personality? If it's with the picture, I mean like a photo of a selfie can only do so much. Like, how do you think you can show your personality? Because right now the problem, correct me if I'm wrong, is people like the image of you, but they don't like who you are because maybe they don't know. I think I just uh, post pictures and uh, like reply to every comment. I'm going to ask you three questions, okay? And at the end of these three questions, we're going to find out how you can show a little bit more of your personality. Because I think I've run into this problem too. Like, people used to only click on my videos for like the title. And if it wasn't but the title, people would just like, fuck you. Like, I don't like you that much. This is how like a lot of people like Alexis Ren or a lot of other models show their personality. So the first question, Nicole, I want to ask you is what makes you happy? And start being spiritual probably. Spiritual, okay. So you like uh, self-bettering yourself and you feel like there's bigger meanings. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. How about this? Next question. What makes you angry? Like, calm angry. Like something that you're super passionate about, whether it's like a certain movement. Like, here, I'll give you an example. I'm super angry when people complain. 
So uh, my solution is like I try to motivate people. Mm. So that's what makes me angry. Like people making like small, really small problems into big problems. Love it. Okay. That's what we got. You learn passion about, you know, a spiritual health, and then you love actually helping people. Now, now we have like two out of three. Have you ever voiced that into your captions? Like, have you ever told people that you kind of have bigger meaning, that you're really passionate? Maybe you have to write like a little paragraph about, you know, three things you've learned about small problems. This is where you can insert your personality. You tell me if you think you've done this right yet, but do you think you've put that into your captions or your Instagram yet? No. Okay. Let's try that. Try that. I want you to try it for the next month. Literally try an Instagram story every day. If basically my goal for you is once you show people, like once people, your audience can answer those questions for you, you're ready to put out a product. Like if your followers know, oh my gosh, I know Nicola hates it when we complain because we are supposed to always improve ourselves. Then you know you're doing something right. So my biggest tip is just to talk more about what you love. That's all. Thank you so much, Jamie. I love you so much. Thank you. Have you're so day. sweet. All right, guys. So we're going to recap this video. I, I look like I have no pants. There's actually a few more questions you can ask yourself. Let me know if you guys want a whole video about like at, with the questions to ask yourself before you post. Uh, I could totally do that. Just comment. But you know, going back to what we're saying, it's important that if you can't fucking answer your own question, your audience won't be able to. Like if you can't go on your post and you're saying like, is there a chief goal here? Like, is there a certain message being coming across? How is your audience gonna expect to like you for you, right? A lot of you guys are not getting engagement because you're tapping on the surface level. It's important to dig deep, ask yourself bigger questions so you can show your personality. And soon, before you know it, people are gonna start to listen to you for whatever you say, whatever you do, just because it's who you are, not just because what you look like or the exterior. A lot of you guys crave to have the engagement or the attention of all these other Instagrammers or YouTubers or celebrities, but you have to realize they spent years and years of building a personality around their brand. So maybe I'll do a whole video about you know how to build a personality. Um, I'm actually working on a few products for you guys. I have an app coming out, of course, and it's all happening in the month of September. So if you like this video and you want more, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. It just shows me that you love it, that you want more, and I'll keep going. If not, I'll just quit and go back to school. Just kidding, I'll never stop for you guys. And I just wanna let you know that I'm super excited just to be on this journey with you guys. I've literally just remember being in those shoes. I'm not, this is not coming from someone who's just being a guru. I've just legitimately been in that place where I didn't feel good enough, where I feel like I need to have more filters, I need to have more this, I'm not good. Just remember, take a deep breath. We're in this together, you guys. And I love you all so much. Um, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you wanna be the next comment winner, all you gotta do is just comment below your thoughts, your questions. Leave me something to read and laugh about. I sit through my comments every single day. I know there's thousands of comments I get. It will take some time, but I'll read every single comment and I wanna hear your thoughts. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but make sure you go follow me on my podcast. I do have a podcast. I don't know if you guys know. Go, go check it out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and I love you all so much. Mwah.